What's going on guys? So today we're looking at a video we've already done in the past, but I wanted to take another look at it. So this is the Maglite XL50 flashlight, which is one of their higher lumen digital versions of their LED flashlights. Definitely a step away from the old classic 3 and 4 D cell uh, incandescent lights they've been known for. Now, looking back at one of my old videos, I did a video about this light showing why it was not a reliable light, had a parasitic drain issue, and where the customer service from Maglite kind of fell short. Now, that was actually my most hated video from anything I've done to date, the most negative comments, and the most downvotes yet. So, I figured why not double down and do another. Now, <laughs> to that point, one of the things I want to look at is, am I just an idiot like everyone thinks, or is there actually a legitimate claim here? So, I figured we should do a test. Looking at a standard mag light, which is going to be one of their twist LEDs for the 2 AAA version versus the XL50. You take a set of brand new batteries, fresh out of the package, put them in both lights, put them on a shelf in my workshop, and leave them there for a few months. Let's see what happens in a few. And if I'm right, my suspicion is there's going to be a parasitic drain on the Maglite XL50, and I'm not going to have that issue on the 2 AAA version. And if that is the case, we'll see this one start to leak very quickly, no issues in presenting itself on the mini mag. So, let's see what happens. And to make sure no one can say I'm doing anything sketchy here or being dishonest about it, you guys can see this is going from a brand new package of Energizer batteries. This thing is nice and clean, no issues with anything for battery acid left over from the last leak. It has been thoroughly cleaned out. And according to Maglite, it's not an issue with the flashlight, so we shouldn't have any issue reusing this one. So, turns on. Both brightness works. And the same thing for the mini mag. Make sure I open up the right end. And nice and bright. So no issue with these, they both work perfectly fine, both got a brand new set of batteries fresh out of a new package. And for context, these were bought earlier today, copyright date 2018, and an expiration date, I'm not sure if we can see that, let's take them out of here. Not sure if you guys can see that, but they have a production date of 0419A, and an expiration date of 12 2029 so, they got a good 10 years left in them, so let's see how they perform. As always guys, put your predictions in the comments section below. Let me know if you think I'm just crazy for doing this, or if you think I'm going to be right. And if you think I'm just an idiot for trying this in the first place, let me know as well. So, as always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good one.